happened to stumble upon IVHQ on the internet when I was searching through stuff and it seemed like a really good program. It seemed like a great program. Cusco was like nowhere I've ever been before. Both my wife and I retired. We looked for something different to do and this is a first volunteer stint and it's worked out really well. I was living in WA, it's a very materialistic place, and decided to come to South America and Cusco is sort of first on my list. So. But just after a different experience really, trying to connect more with the locals and I thought what better way to do it than volunteering. It's a great opportunity not only to do a bit of volunteering, but meet lots of other volunteers as well. well I think there's 54 boys in total, um, uh, and I think they all come from various backgrounds, but I'm assuming most of them it's pretty rough backgrounds. So. I came to Cusco thinking I was going to do a bunch of different projects, just to try, uh, try them and do the childcare, but after a week here I was like, it's it's too much fun, it's too it's too rewarding and it's also, it's just like, I like I like the project that we're doing. I feel like I'm helping every day and um, yeah, like I said, the progress is just amazing and it's fun. Never done construction before is something that I've always wanted to do. The, the coolest part for me actually has been seeing the little kids running around that you know, you're like, oh, you're going to be going to the school that we're building and it's a cool, kind of cool experience to get to see that. I've never ever done this like kind of work before. Manual labor is not my best friend, but it's been amazing because we've been like pushing wheelbarrows that have like 80 pounds worth of brick and mud and carrying logs and stuff and it's just been um it's been a rewarding experience because I realize I'm stronger and tougher than I thought. I work at San Judas and um, we've got uh, I think about 45 46 girls now. We've got a few more last week. Uh, the girls are awesome. When you walk in the door, they're always so happy to see you, so it kind of makes you feel a little bit like a rock star. Um, so it's basically assisting people that can't afford to pay for education elsewhere. They're extremely attentive, so back home I do a little bit of teaching part-time in university, where you're constantly having to you know, pull answers out of people, whereas here, they're, they're jumping over each other to answer the questions. So. It's a volunteer house. Um, it's called Arcopata. It's it's been amazing. You know, it's unbelievable location. Because at the at the house, I live with 14 other people, and you know, they're doing you know childcare, teaching English, medical. So I've been hearing a lot about the other projects, and everything has something really amazing to offer. Living in Cusco has been amazing. It's a really fun city. I think there's like 12 or 13 of us. So it's a variety of people there. Um, we have everyone from nurses to um, construction workers to orphanage workers. The accommodation is a hundred times better than I expected it to be. We pretty much do something every night. We go out, we have trivia night, we do so much, but the volunteer house is incredible and I recommend it to everybody. On the weekends I usually do trips. Um, evenings though, it depends. We'll go like to, you know, go out, get visit the nightlife. Um, other things are like cultural, you know, cultural aspects, a lot of, you know, cultural um, performances and, you know, great places to go out and eat. One weekend I took two days off and I went to a four-day Machu Picchu trek, which was something I'll never forget. It was, you know, biking down a mountain, zip lining, hiking. There was a choice of doing rafting and then, you know, a full day of Machu Picchu. Just the you know relationships I've made and you know just the stuff I've learned, learn more about myself, learn more about our world, and um, I think that's offered just a, you know a way better perspective. And I think more people need to do that. So so much. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the boys. I told them it was my last week, and they keep asking me like, just stay. Like, why don't you just stay another month? I mean, I've been to 60 different countries in the last uh, 60 years, and. By far the most beautiful ride I think daily was going back and forth to the construction site. It's just gorgeous. The scenery, this place is just gorgeous. There's so many things to do and see and places to go and I wish I could have stayed longer. And it puts a lot of things into perspective and makes you just appreciate stuff a lot like the everyday little things a lot more just friendships and human contact I guess. Definitely keep an open mind for everything just because you know you got to be flexible. Get a taste of where you are. Uh, if you're here for a while try to go to a lot of places and you know but if that's not possible do the best you can at you know your placement and then just the city you're in. So whatever you think is going to happen is not going to happen so just be flexible. To leave some free time to leave some time available to be able to travel around and see things and trek and because you know you get here and then there's like a million things to do. Embrace it and make the most of it because whether you come for a week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever it is, if you let it change your life, it can. It, like every single moment you have, just like make the most of it. You've got to come in with a completely open mind and open heart. You'll have such a great time letting everyone in and just be prepared to just run with it. Like there's no set plan, there's 
there's very little structure and you've just got to have a good imagination and be adaptable and just be open to have fun.